how dirty my brushes are. That's not that bad. No, Amanda gives me a hard time. You must have cleaned them quite recently. Fairly. That and the, also to be fair, they're dyed because I was using the same colours. <laughs> right, ready? Yep. Happy. <laughs> that clip is us going rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> right, we on? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know when this one's going to go up, but this is number three. This is yeah. Lisa's third appearance. This is Lisa Potter Dixon. I've already said, best-selling author, makeup Thanks. artist extraordinaire. Uh, also, you give me a mention in here I somewhere, do. and I was yeah. very excited. I didn't know that until I was reading it. I was like, oh, let's see what she has to say about skincare. Yeah. Oh, she likes me. That's good. I did. Um, so we have done. We've done the perfect brow. Yeah. We've done a quick school run. I mean, it doesn't have to be school run. To be fair, I don't have to do the school run anymore, but I do have that having to get out of the house in a hurry in the morning, yep. making yourself look vaguely put together. Now we're going to master my nemesis, which is a smoky eye. Why do you not like doing this makeup? Well, I can make it even better for you. I'm officially a trained makeup artist. But I don't... I, I always... When we were doing the training, I, I gravitated towards skin and then I put yeah. all of my effort there. So... In terms of makeup, I always say I can do everyone's face from beginning to end, including brow, blush, bronze. I'm not good at contouring because that all came in after I was... Yeah. No. And also, no. Um, but smoky eye has just been like... I, I think what happened was I saw someone once on counter, a girl called Anne, who used to work for Chantecai, uh, Armani Chantecai Longcombe, I think, and she had worked that she'd done a sort of... We'd we, we call her old school. Right. And she did a smoky eye on someone in front of me that was so gob-stoppingly amazing that I thought, well, I'm not going to bother. And if I can't make it look like that, I just don't even want up my eye. So I think it was, yeah, it's all Anne's fault. But I just also compliment for me... Compliment, no, Anne. Compliment. Yeah, big compliment. <laughs> she was like the best. But also for me, it's... I don't go out that much. Yeah. But I do now see when... Since I had my eyes done, I'll put that video below, I do now see that there is scope for... Because everything used to be about hiding my eyelids. Because mm -hmm. my eyelids were so overhanging that it was all about, okay, that's where the lashes came from. Yeah. Do something to sort of... And now I would like to venture down the road of wearing more eyeshadow. Because I love makeup. Mm -hmm. But I am absolutely... Even if I watch a YouTube tutorial, I'll be like, I don't know how to do that. But I think that's more me rather than how... The, the you know the skills of the person I'm looking yeah. at because I watch a lot of great people. Yeah, it's all about me. Well, I mean I don't think it is just like that like your thing though because I think so many women are scared of smoky eye and actually I think the thing with smoky eye it doesn't need to be that kind of black grey heavy. Yeah, I always have that image of it being like very sort of. Like, almost like Madonna erotica video where it's like black and and I just think oh, I can't do black I'm 48. It's a great video. It's a great video. But I'm too old to have that really heavy heavy dark black lid. You know, and then I see someone like Charlotte, you know, C. Tilbury, yeah. um, and she'll do like what I would class as a smoky eye and think, well, that looks nice. Yeah, she always rocks a smoky eye, Charlotte does. Oh, so she always will go, darling, what's this? Because I haven't done it, you know, and I'm like, don't judge me. I'm been, and she'll go, oh, too busy, are we? I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> So uh, if anything, you can give me a smoky eye so that I can face Charlotte Tilbury. Exactly. No, there you go. Okay, well, what I'm going to do, because I think also a smoky eye, the reason it's called a smoky eye is the technique, not the colour. Because it gives you that, that smokiness to the eye. Okay, so See. that's the first thing. See. Um, so we're not going to do black, so we're going to go for a smoky eye that you can build up. So we're going to do a bronze smoky eye, which is kind of like the queen of eyeshadows because it suits everyone. Mm. Obviously different tones of browns depending on your skin tone, but we are going to do a bronze smoky eye. We're not going to use hundreds of products. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do the kind of Instagram smoky eye with like a cup crease or anything like that. Oh my god. And no. can we not, are we not going to use a shoe to mark it We're out on my eye? We're not going to use a Or a spoon. No, can I, did you see the shoe on the other yes. thing? I saw it on your thing. Yes. Oh my goodness. And that was Louboutins as well. Yeah, I can't. Just, why would you do why that? Why would you do that? Like, in my head, I go immediately to being an older person, I think, sell the Louboutins if you don't want them, I and give the money to charity. Exactly. Don't cut them up to make a video. No, but that was insane. But no, we're not going to be doing that. I like shoes too much, thank you very much. Um, but we are going to stop. So we've done the brows. That was the last video. That was the last video. And brows are really important when you're doing your smoky eye. I always do the brows first because they frame your face. And if you do the brows after... Sometimes your smoky eye looks too much or not enough. Or not enough. Yeah. And you can't really go back and play with it once you've sort of done no, it all. I mean, that's just hassles. So we're going to start by doing a kind of a nudie tone just all over the lid. This is mainly, even though we've already put on 
um, concealer. This is mainly just to kind of even out the eye a little bit more. I would just say as well that it's poor Lisa because my lashes, I'm trying to sort of wean myself off of the lashes and they do need doing. So I feel like one just fell off onto your nose. That's, that's not, you probably saw that. <laughs> Got it. So the, the lashes aren't perfect, but she'll make them look fine. And then Daxi to my lash lady will look at them and go, why would you let them film when they haven't been done? But it is what it is. This is real life, people. Exactly. So I'm just putting this all over. You see how I'm holding my brush, guys, is that I'm holding it from above and blending it down because actually when we have any redness on the eyes or any purple, which just comes from the eye being thinner, um, you want to be able to cover it. And if you put the brush like this, you're not going to be able to get right to the root of the lash. So right. holding it above like this, just. Is it easy to do on yourself though? Yeah, it is because you're just literally and you, you can even, be like that. Yeah. Oh, you'd be more like this. Yeah, exactly. Just blending it down. Like this. Blending it down. Also, it's just makeup. If you make a mess, it doesn't matter. You can yeah. wipe it off. Don't matter. Don't matter. I oh, know. Then I go into like my gospel, which is where I grew up. Accent. Where? Gospel. Do you know it? Up oh, north. Down south. Opposite, where? Opposite the Isle of Wight. Oh God, Gosport! Oh God, I was like, what? I was thinking of Southport. <laughs> Close. Uh, We've been more like that in Southport. No, yeah, no Gosport. Yeah, uh, don't judge me. Yeah. I don't judge you. I think it's a seventeen. I left there, but that as a joke. I left going home at seventeen. Was like, I'm out. <laughs> I did that. Hi, yeah. Warrington. Is that what you're talking about? We haven't got the accent. No. Uh, well, I was born in Liverpool. Yeah. Moved to America when we were four. Moved back when I was 10 to Warrington and I, and I lived in Warrington from like 10 to 17. I moved to London when I was 17. Thank so now you. all my Scouse family think I talk like I'm on EastEnders and all the London lot still think I have this like weird accent because, but you know, or, or usually if I meet Scousers, they'll go, oh, you don't, you don't sound it. And I'll go, I can do it if you want me to. That is good. <laughs> I wish I could do that accent. I can do it if you want me to. No, I can't. Oh, okay. don't do that again. <laughs> I'd like to apologise to all my family in Liverpool. Uh, I've also got a degree in theatre, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so going back to the oh, makeup. See, we, this oh, is why. This is going to be like an hour long video, isn't it? It's like... going to be boring getting on with the rest of the week after this video. <laughs> so, what I'm doing as well, guys, just so you know, I also don't spend a fortune on my makeup brushes. These are all cram brush. Mm -hmm. They're like four or five quid each. I also, I mean, I have a big selection of brushes, but if you haven't got loads of makeup brushes, you don't need it. Go and get three or four blending brushes is all you need. I'm tapping it off on my hands as I'm putting it on because I don't want loads of excess powder. Now, I'm taking this taupey colour and I'm just putting it about halfway on the eye to start and open for me. And close. I'll be doing that a lot. That's, That's open. fine. <laughs> because you really want to see what you're creating and obviously you can only do that if your eyes are open. So, you know, that's a top tip there. The other thing is, is if you're doing a smoky eye on yourself, keeping your eyes open is a really, really good way because a lot of people close their eyes and stretch their eyelids. Do you yeah. know smoky eye? Oh God, yeah. Keep them open. You can then see where your socket of your eye is and all that. Oh look, you've got your hair, on, my hair on you now. I'm molting today. It is autumn. Look at me, that's true. Close again. So, I'm gonna keep the um, inner corner of the eye quite light. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do that too dark. And I'm not going to just use eyeshadow, I'm going to be using an eyeliner. Ooh! Smoking this. I know, I am crazy. Are you a tight liner or are you more of just a traditional line? No, it depends really what I'm doing, but for this I'm going to smoke it out. Open for me. Okay. Right, close again. I'm going to use a deeper shade now. So this one, this is all from this kind of, there's so many palettes like this out mm. there. I think that's really good now actually, that you don't have to necessarily go and buy individual shadows. Yeah. You can get a palette and you've got all the neutral tones in there. Yeah. So I'm taking that deeper shade and I'm putting it exactly where I put that last one, which is on the outer half of the eye. How and many products, so how many eyeshadows do you think you need to quant to qualify for doing a smoky eye? Thank God you didn't say how many eyeshadows do you own. <laughs> no, that'd be like asking me how many cleansers you own. Um, yeah, exactly. You can do a smoky eye with one eyeshadow. You what, really by building can. it? Like, you really can, yeah. You can do a one-toned smoky eye. Um, no, you can. Well, to be honest, <laughs> if we have time, once we've done this, which we probably won't, I'll, maybe we can speed it up, I'll do a one colour smoky eye on myself, so that you can see what I mean. We can have it as a little outro. <laughs> <laughs> Open for me. Okay. So it's about building, being delicate, you don't want to be putting on too much product. So I'm just going still in with that darker shade, still tapping it on my hand. Right, top tip. Clean brush. You should use a clean brush for blending. 
two people try and blend with the brush that they've already used. Ah, and then you don't get a good finish. Do. Yeah, you don't get a good finish open for me. And we're going up to the sockets of the eye. Mm -hmm. We're not going above. Yeah. Because otherwise it just all starts to look too heavy. Right. Drags it down. It does. It? New Tom Ford eyeliners, coal pencils, so nice. It's kind of like a bronzy brown, really beautiful. Close your eye for me. And beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to just pull the eye slightly and just go along the lash line. You don't have to be precise, guys, because we are going to blend this out. So just buff it along the lash line. Open for me. Close again. And then you just take a little brush and buff. It's a really good way. If you just want to wear liner, do it this way in a way, because then you don't need to worry about being too. Exact. I do do that if I'm just doing a bit of eyeliner. I, yeah. always, I always apply it and then I buff it out with mm. a brush. Open for me. Okay, let's do your eye. And this defines your eyes as well, and it also fills in the lashes a bit too, which is good. Well, you need help with those. <laughs> How long have you been a makeup artist? Oh, 15, 15 years? 16 oh. years? Yeah, long time now. Long time. Open for me. I'm really lucky because I do such a variety of things. Yeah. Like editorial shows and then film. What's your favourite thing to do? Editorial. Really? Yeah, I love editorial. How come? Um, I love being creative mm -hmm. and I love being able to bring someone else's vision to life. Right. Because obviously you're always working with a creative director or a beauty director. Yeah. And I, yeah, I just love it. And I love collaborating mm. for me. So I love collaborating with um, hairdressers, right. stylists, etc. Open for me. Right, now what I'm gonna do, so we're softly building this up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that slightly darker shade again. <laughs> and I'm just going to take a, this is actually a lip brush, multi-use your brushes. Like I say, you don't need a hundred brushes, multi-use them. So you can use your lip brush on your eyes as long as it's clean and hasn't got any lipstick on yeah, it, Yeah, don't do it you've just done a red lip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but you can absolutely. So make sure, you know, because brushes cost a lot of money, don't they? Yeah. Close your eyes for me. And again, I'm just going to go straight in over that to deepen it up a bit. I've just used so far those three eyeshadows and that one eyeliner. And that is it. Move it in. Open for me. Although I do, do you know what I really love doing as well is I, well I love doing shows, but I've done shows now for about 10 seasons. Mm. But I love, I um, love transforming real women. Yeah. That's why I did my books because. Do you get do you get much time, much opportunity to do that though in the day job? Not really. No. But I do do a few things. Obviously for magazines and stuff, I do a lot of that because I really enjoy it. Yeah. But in the day job, with my friends, particularly, lots of my friends have just become mums. Oh God. And they are knackered, so I'm like, sit yeah. down, give me ten minutes, Aww. sort you out. I'm open for me. Okay. This is looking really nice. Even if I size so myself. <laughs> because we're not going over the top, that's the thing. Like a smoky yeah. eye doesn't have to be crazy. Look at me. Right, now what we're gonna do, I do things the wrong way around. I always have done. I do half the smoky eye, then I go in with mascara, and then I build it up with a liner and the shimmer that I'm gonna be using. Right. The reason I do that is because I see so many women that put on a smoky eye and it's so heavy and to take off what you've already put on is impossible. To build it up is a lot easier. Yeah. So if you do things in between, you're gonna be fine. So I'm just taking some mascara. Well, let me find my little disposal. Mascara. So I'm taking some mascara. Now, as Carolyn mentioned, she's got her lash extensions in and they need redoing. They need redoing. But we are gonna put some mascara over the top, but I'm gonna do the bottom lashes first. Mm -hmm. Look up for me. Oh God, I never do bottom lashes. Why? I just... <gasps> They're so good. And I've got good bottom lashes. They make up for where the others aren't. I don't know, I don't want to, I think because I don't wear makeup, I'm worried about, uh, well, I don't wear a lot of eye makeup. I worry about it um, sort of dragging down the upper. 
Well, yeah, I suppose if you're doing a smoky eye, though, you should definitely. Oh, okay. So if I was doing a smoky eye, I would do them. And this is um, a trick. I always do the bottom lashes first because if you have done the top lashes first and you look up to do the bottom lashes, you you put ruin it straight onto your makeup. You ruin Good it. tips, people. There you go. Also, I'm just taking a little cotton bud and just putting that under the lashes so that I don't transfer it to the concealer. That we've already done, but you can actually do your eyes after if you want, your base, sorry, after. Look at me. Okay, and look at my shoulder here. So I'm just gonna... I love that you say shoulder. In the industry, it was always look at my boob. Look at my breasts. Can't really say that in this day and age. You'd go like, follow my finger, but your finger would end at the boob. <laughs> There's some strays there. You might have to just do what you can do. Yeah, little buggers. There might there might be a little bit of uh, individual lashes going in. That's all right. We can uh, do what we can. We can do what we can, man. There's a few coming out. Yeah, don't worry if they come out. It's all good. Let me see how even they look now. Okay, they definitely look better. Okay, so now I've put the mascara on, I know that I can smoke it up a little bit more because Caroline can hold it on her eyes. You can! <laughs> so I'm going to go in with that liner again and literally repeat what I've done. So liner along the lash line. And like I say, I like this one because it's got that kind of bronze finish to it so that the whole look's not matte. But we are going to add a bit of shimmer as well. And you like Ooh. a bit of shimmer, don't you? I like a bit again. of shimmer yeah. on the eyelid. Yeah, I do too. I'm stuck. That's me. Okay. And I think actually, as we get older, a lot of women are afraid of putting shimmer. Mm. But I think, I it think you need it. You need it to give you a lift. Brightens. Not necessarily like a face full of glitter. I mean, I think I'll be doing that until I'm at least, <laughs> until I'm dead. <laughs> I've got a bit of an obsession with glitter. Look at me, I say. Glitter, I mean, not the shirt. <laughs> where, what did I see on your Instagram stories recently where you were covered in glitter? Was I covered in sequins? Or yeah, glitter? sequins. Yeah, I've got, I collect vintage ball gowns, but only sequin ones. Oh, I love a sequin. Oh, I love, oh God. I'm, yeah, I'm quite known for my, um, Sequin obsession, yeah, but they were all here. Yeah. What were you doing? Um, I was. What was I doing? I was. I just. Sh I just was out on the Monday, probably like going to the shops. <laughs> you were like covered in sequins. Yeah. What's your problem with that? Monday sequin. Best day to wear sequin. I sometimes <sighs> Theo comes home and I'll be like hoovering in a sequin ball gown. This is why we're friends. <laughs> why would you not? I mean, you know. <laughs> Such a waste otherwise. Where do you get them from? Um, in America, a lot. Oh, right. Uh, Paris, eBay. Oh, wow. Yeah, all over the joint. You look at me and say. Okay, so Caroline has obviously hasn't seen this, but what I want you guys to note is that I haven't put that eyeshadow all over the eye, as you can see. It, I've built it up more along the lash line because what we don't want to do is it to look too much. So by building up, we're talking about smoky eye when, again, we're talking about the technique. So there's no, you can't see any hard edges here. That's what it is about. So it doesn't matter if you go all over the lid or not. So a little bit there. Now I'm gonna take some shimmer. 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 I'm actually gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury bronze. That's a nice bronze. Yeah, it's really nice. You should probably just use your fingers for this. It's really nice, this one. What color is, what palette is this that? This is a Dolce Vita, which mm. I would say, I think this might, might be the third one of these. It's one mm. of my most used one. Close your eyes for me. Centre of the eye. Open again. And close. And I'm going to take it into the inner corner a little bit. Centre of the eye is obviously the highest point of the eye. You can feel that when you're patting it onto the eye. In terms of you can feel that your eyeball, that's the only way you can say it. Eyeball. Do you know what I mean? That you can feel your eyeball there, that's the highest point. So putting this on there will just kind of again make the eyes look bigger. That's what we want. Open again. Oh, yes. <laughs> Honestly, a bit of glitter just makes everyone happy. Ben, do you feel happy now that Mum's got glitter on her eye? Sure. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he would. 
make me thrilled. Absolutely. Just gonna blend that in a little bit. <laughs> Oh God, I always do that as so I... What, you singing? I always sing to... What, you singing? Just blend, blend, blend. Oh my God, it's like Enchanted. <laughs> Put on your eyeliner. Maybe I could sing. <laughs> I used to think I could sing. Now we apply the glitter. It makes such a difference, it does. <laughs> we should have a musical. <laughs> or not. Look, well guys, if you want us to do a video, was this all singing? Oh, you just let well, us know. Wearing your ball gowns. <laughs> we'll do it around my house. And, um, <sighs> yeah, we'll get the dogs involved. That'll oh, be God. great. Oh, God. Eating plants. You know this is going to happen now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Open for me. We'll have to have a few cocktails, I think, before. Right, how about eyeliner in the waterline? Do you ever do that? Yeah. Good, because I'm going to. <laughs> just as well, really. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked that. So, um, you I don't liner. use the same one in no. the waterline. How come? Because I prefer to use a black liner in the waterline. Why? Because I just think it's the same with brown mascara. What's the point? Oh, I love that. Yeah, I'm almost like... What's the point? What's the point? I, all, I, I mean, you know, it's nice, but if you're going to do eyeliner in the waterline, just go for black. Okay. Just do it. You've been told. You've been told, people. She's very bossy. I'm sorry, am I? I like that. Am I bossy? That was a compliment. Oh, okay, thanks. Also, one of these really good don't need this but you use a bit of cotton wool it but if you've done your base chick. yeah i mean it's the best because then you don't ruin the base so i'm just putting this into the water line which one are you using this is actually the benefit one because it's waterproof right the bad girl waterproof you're very good at being still a lot of people aren't when you're doing their makeup why it's oh, nice like this. oh god no i can go into a trance on this side yeah but also you're used to and touching lots of people's faces. Yeah. So you know how annoying it is if. Oh, when they do, when they do this. <gasps> That's the worst. Do you want to be on your phone or do you want me to do your face? No, seriously. Oh my god. I'm actually, the worst is Fashion Week. Look for me when you've got models. Oh yeah. And uh, well, the worst actually. Do you know the worst thing that ever happened at Fashion Week? It's not the worst thing, but when this model fell asleep, and I had to get two of my assistants to hold, hold her head up because she was snoring. Oh, because she come from New cool York. Thing. And now I felt for her for about thirty seconds. And then you're so like, like, wake up! Come on, Adam! I've got to do your makeup. Come on, you know. And you've got to walk down that runway. Oh no! <laughs> but look at me. You're looking hot. Right, and then just a little another tip. I'm just taking a little bit under the lash line. I'm not going the whole way, just the outer third, because we don't want again to make it too heavy. And you see, you can see, guys. I'm just dotting it. I'm not being precise. I'm not just drawing it like a crayon, like no, a kid with a no, crayon. No, just little dots, little dots. It's amazing. The pigmentation in products these days is so good. Less is 100% more. And black eyeliner, good luck getting it off if you make a mistake. So a little bit less more. And then I've just got the blender on the end. I'm just going to blend it backwards and forwards a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Done it again. Singing. Singing's good. That's, is that... That's my one thing that I wish I could do. Sing. Oh, is it yours? No, because I can sing. Can you? Yeah. Sorry about that. Met my husband when he was in a group and I was a backing singer. Shit. So I say that, I've now gone a bit Mariah in that the notes aren't what they used to be. Um, yeah, but... By the way, I'm not comparing myself to Mariah Carey when I say that. The only thing we have in common is sort of a big boobage and a love for blonde. But, <laughs> also though, this means that we're definitely going to do our sing-along video. Or we can put that the words at the bottom with the little balls and you can sing along with us. Oh my god. Bitch is on your blusher. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It's a whole other theme. Look up for me. Bet you can't wait. Sing along a makeup. Seriously though, that could be good. High on a hill, little needle, blusher and lip and gloss and brow. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh, I'll poke you in the eye. Right, okay. So I'm just blending, oh, just so you know what I'm doing, I'm taking that dark brown again Sorry, and just putting... Just, I think the best tutorials are when you're totally distracted. No, exactly, of course. Um, you, you learn so much more then, honest. Um, so I've just taken that dark brown again and just put a little bit underneath the lower lash line over the top of that liner. Look up for me, just to soften it. Because we do not want to have any harsh lines under the eyes. This is, the reason I really like this, this kind of smoky eye is because it's a wearable smoky eye in terms of if you were just going for a few business 
meetings, for example, you wouldn't feel too overdone. Well, you, I, I'd be like, whoa! They'd be like, yeah, well, you've made an effort. They'd be like, oh, you scrub up well. I'd be like, what are you trying to say, that I don't wear makeup normally? But it does, I mean, you know, once you get the hang of this kind of smoky eye, it does only take, I'm going to say 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm, I'm being realistic here. Yeah. I'm just, and also, it's not something you really want to rush, is it? No. You don't really want to do a five minute smoky eye, either wear a little bit of eyeshadow or do a smoky eye. Although I am seriously going to do my smoky eye in, and if you guys follow my Instagram, you know I'm famous for getting ready in like three minutes because I love bed too much. Oh, fair enough. Do you love, do you love, I mean, I, I just, I mean, you've got kid, like lots of kids, so you're used to not having lions and stuff, I expect. But I just would stay in my bed all day. <laughs> I would. Look at me as like Okay. With the dogs. With the dog. Oh, the, well, they're only allowed in the bed on, like, you know, Sundays. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is looking lovely. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do now, just so you know, is... Karen's trying to look in the mirror and I turn no, the door away. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's habit. It's habit. Um, I'm go Don't look in the window. I'm reflection. trying. It's fine. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the beauty blender, which I used on Caroline earlier, and just put a little bit more concealer underneath the eyes. I'm just going to take a cotton bud and make sure there's no fallout. And you just need to swipe it gently. And actually, there's not. And the reason that there's no fallout is because I was tapping on my hand, as you can see. Do you know what happens as well? I usually forget to wipe my hand, and then I wipe it all over my face. Yeah. Amanda does that all oh, the time. She's like, always covered in makeup. Yeah. Like the other day, I put on an outfit. I was just going to the pub, and I put on an outfit, and it was dark. And then I got to the <laughs> pub and realised it was completely covered in makeup. Oh. Absolutely everyone. I just kind of told you my forget. told my friends that it was meant to be like that. Okay, this is it just under here now. A little bit of concealer. This is looking good. I honestly, it makes, because so, your eyes are so dark brown as well, mm. which is so nice. The bronze colours look amazing. When I'm angry. <laughs> Do they change colour? Um, well, they just go darker. I go Do like. Do they? My husband's like, don't stare at me with your black eyes. Really? I'm like, no, That's I'm not. so interesting. Just plotting your death. <laughs> I mean, that's been, what, 30 years, you say? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, don't blame you. Sorry, I met you, but... <laughs> He's used to it. And can I just say, the brows look really good. Coming into their own now. Coming into their own with the... With the smokiness. Okay. I love the singing. Oh, God, sorry, I just do it and I don't even realise. I like it. Okay, bit of power. I like it, it's good. Everyone loves a sing song, don't they? Although, do you know what I don't like? X Factor. Oh, my brother. The problem is, is I do still. You I, don't? No, do you know why? Because I don't know. No, I don't know why. I put it on, um, you know, when you record it and then watch it in 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. To zoom through. Yeah, I don't. Just, and I just can't even deal with it. This is so bad. I think the last time I watched The X Factor was I watched the very end when Alexandra Burke won and she brought Beyonce out. Oh, I yeah. saw that and I thought, oh, impressive, Beyonce. But once you had Beyonce, what's the point? She looked, she seemed like she was really bad once Beyonce came out. Yeah. No, she did Well, she didn't, but I, the other one is when Scherzinger totally stole the thunder of her one. Oh, my God, she was amazing. Though, I can't remember who it was. Um, it was that guy. Um, was it? Oh, I know exactly, but yeah. I can't remember his name. But anyway, no, I can't be bothered. I can't watch it. I'm a Strictly girl. Oh, I love Strictly. Love a bit Strictly. It's all the sequins, aren't it? That's oh, that's what it, it is. Da, da, that's da, what da, it is. Da, 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 okay, da. I've got a question about Strictly. Okay. What do you think about them, the guys, a lot of them are kind of trained dancers, like Aston and Alexander in this series. Is, Ale is Aston a trained dancer? Yes. Is he? Well, he was obviously in, um, you know, He was in band. JLS. Um, and that doesn't mean you're a trained dancer. I just think he's got rhythm, no? Well, but he was like the best dancer in, well, maybe he's not trained, but okay, Alex, she is. No, is she? She's West End's star. Yeah, but didn't that come after the singing gig? So you think that she's... So the only one I know that's a proper trained dancer is Debbie McGee. And her legs. Her legs. But do you know what? I love her. Who do you yeah. want to win? Um, oh, I quite like Aston. I like Aston. I like his... Um, oh, I love Susan. She's great. I, love, I mean, she's not going to win, but I love Susan. And I like Ruth. She won't win either, but... And Ruth won't win. But the outfits last night that they had. Did you see? Oh, on Saturday night. Oh, my God. Anton's... Outfit. I would it's wear the that. best thing I've ever seen on Strictly in my life. It, was, I, it, was, it just gave me so much joy. It and was he amazing. Camps it up oh, so he much. is the best. 
Anyway, we're talking he about the Strixie. Sorry, sorry yeah. if you're in America, you've got no idea what we're talking about. We're talking about our version, well, the original version of Say You Think You Can Not... Um, Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Which I'm annoyed you can't watch over here now anymore. Can't you? No, they what? used to air it in the UK. I thought it'd be on E. No, they used to air it on, like, Living or something. Oh. And it was brilliant because it's so over the top and so American. Yeah. I'm just putting a little bit of uh, bronzer. So, blusher. Yeah, Bl love a bit of blusher. Oh, too. Can never have too much blusher. No, I'm going to go for maybe, a, not none of these, I'm going to go for a corally colour. Oh. What do you usually wear? Pink? Yeah, different shades of pink. Yeah, oh yeah, I can tell. So... Guess that's why I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> So I do that. Oh yeah, Shars, yeah. I do Shar. Oh, I do Bobby. Oops. That's new, so I haven't used that one properly oh, can yet. I use it then? Yeah, go for it. But I also, this is my fave, where is it? Mark Jacobs. Look at this. <gasps> can I just say the Mark Jacobs makeup is really good. Look at yeah, that. that's the um the air um what do they call it? Um air Air blush. Air blush. Night fever and hot stuff. And all clearly written about me. I'm gonna mix these together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm putting on the back. These are really nice. They're nice, aren't they? Thanks. They're really nice. What lip would you do if you had a smoky eye? Or would it depend on the colour of it the It depends powder, on what you want to do, really, yeah. in terms of, you can obviously, I'm not adverse, is that the word? Adverse. Adverse. Thanks, close. Adverse. Uh, again, theatre and English degree. <laughs> theatre and an English degree, all right, love. But, you know. Do what? Well, let's knock it on the head. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Darling Buds and May at the weekend oh, and it was killing me you? when he kicks off at the French guy. Toot Le Monde and all that. That's so, <laughs> that's so brilliant. It's, there's nothing like it anymore, is there? It's like the Or Vous will be in Avec Trouble. Oh, or so amazing. Beaucoup Trouble. But I would, I'm not adverse to a bright lip or a um, nude lip, to be honest. It doesn't really mm. matter. What's your favourite lip colour? Uh, Show me what you got. You got your makeup Four thousand shades of ready mm. pink. That can't be shown. No. That's embargoed. Ooh, I saw it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, um, yeah. Oh, these are nice from Chantica. I only got these the other day, but look how nice these are. Have you got the glossier? This one as well. Oh, oh I love nice. the glossier. These this are similar. Is, these are yeah. a bit more umph. So I'm going to do a nude yeah. one though. This is the um, the new nude. I glossier. hardly ever wear a nude lip because I think it makes me look dead. Do but, you? Yes, but if I have a smoky eye, I probably won't look dead. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. And the thing is, if we put the pink gloss over the top, then great. I could have mm. just put it straight on your lip because I've never used it yet. But you know, you are the first one. I've just put it on my hand, and I only got it this one yesterday. Actually, I keep getting those pink parcels through the post. Mm, I love a pink glossier parcel through the post. And the stickers. Got some of them. I know, I do like a sticker. Bit of gloss then. This is yours, so I can put it straight on your yeah, lip. Yeah, go for it. Um, you love this one because it's nearly finished. Oh, I'll go through one of those every two weeks. Really? Mm. It's uh, Pixie's Lip Lift Max, which won't be new to my lot. You know when something is just like it's minty, bit sort of minty camp yeah, it but it's really good. good pink. I've, oh, do you know what? The Pixie setting spray is my favourite setting spray. It's in my yeah, just and the glow mist. Yeah, re just great. When you're looking a bit, like when I'm looking a bit shocking, I'm like, oh, you look shocking. And you just glow kind of, mist. Yeah. Look at me this way. Do you know, I don't even think you need any highlight and that is because we use that highlighter underneath the foundation. Right. Do you usually wear highlighter? Um, not particularly. No, I don't think need it. And also, we've got that sparkle on the eye. Oh, sparkle on the eye! We've got that sparkle on the eye. I hope you like it. Well, if I don't, I'm going to fake it anyway. Okay, good. <laughs> you lot will know. <laughs> won't you? You'll know if she's faking it. I won't fake it. Okay, I'm going to shave from this angle because I don't want that whole light oh, in there. Oh, okay. Oh, that was the three times size. Okay. Mm. Oh, I do like it. Oh, let me take my hair down so I don't look like take a housewife. I actually quite like it of your hair up, actually. I know, I would put it up normally, but I just would, I would, I can, you know how it's weird how you can gauge what you look like 100%. when your hair's down? Oh, I do like it. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's not too, it's a soft, smoky eye with that shimmer. Oh, yeah. And you see the liner where I did Why do we do that when we do that face? What is that? And Why do, do they, we do that? Do you know what I always say to everyone I've done their makeup, I'm like, just look in the mirror like you'd look in the mirror without pulling a face. Like, you know, just look at yourself normally. Because then you end up going... And then you raise your eyes like this. Uh, and when you do a lip. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't look like that in real life. I love it. I, I love it. Thank you. you. Right, okay. Just because I said I'm going to do it, this might not fit, get edited in. It I'm might not, but Go I'm going to do this one minute. 
One colour. I'm getting out the frame, people. I'll be back. Right, ready? One colour smoky eye. Let's go. One colour. Just one colour. What colour are you using? So I'm, I'm just going to use the bronze again so that you can see how it looks on the eye. So I'm going into the socket, backwards and forwards, keeping the eye open, like I said to do, because then you can feel the eye. Backwards and forwards. You can do any colour you want, actually. Fingers. Blend it, blend it. It's all about the blending. Okay, and then I'm just taking a pencil brush, which is a thin brush like this. I'm doing the same colour. Same colour under. That's the same colour? Exactly the same colour. I'm getting back in so I can see this action. Oh! <laughs> Hi! So professional. Same colour under. I haven't closed my eyes once when I'm doing this because I want to see my eye shape and what suits me best. Then I'm going to take my finger and just flick upwards like this because then that just gives my eye a bit of a lift. Move the shadow there. It's really subtle but it makes a difference. Then I'm going to put some scar on. I'm going to put moisturiser on. I was like, why would you put moisturiser on smoky <laughs> eye? So Teach me something I definitely don't know. <laughs> just getting a mascara on, don't worry about me. Get my some mascara. This is one colour, don't forget, one colour. One colour. One, one colour, love. Oh, me and my accents. Tell you what, hidden talent of mine. Accents. What's your favourite accent to do? Um, Scottish. Can I hear it? My Scottish isn't that good. Mine is really great, but I can only do one line. What's that? You may take our lives, but you'll never take our freedom. <laughs> oh my god. And my husband's Scottish. Uh... And he um, gets really upset at me. Oh, I can also say worms. What's that? Oh, worms. What else? What can you say? What's your Scottish accent? I don't really, I don't want to insult anyone by doing, I, I don't mind insulting Americans or Scousers because <laughs> that's like my lot, that's fine. There we go. And then I might just put a bit of liner in because we've, you know, why not, it's there. Um, I, you have to show your hand at the end of this. I mean, this is just my life, I tell you. Right, bit of liner, <laughs> bit of mascara I've got on, I've done that one colour. Well, there it's, all right, we isn't go. It? it's not bad, is it? See? Yours looks better, obviously. Well, but... I had a pro do mine. Well, you know, there's my hands. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how long this video will end oh, up being. God, It'll be like I'm an sorry. hour long. How to do a smoky eye really quickly in four hours. <laughs> yeah. um, we will take some requests and definitely get Lisa back yeah. to film some more. Now we have to clean my desk, which has been absolutely ram ranch well, ransacked. <laughs> we'll say it's ramshackle. It's ramshackle, ramshackle. And I'm going to go and scare the guys in Pret, looking like I've made an effort for the day. I mean, who knew? Thanks, love. No oh, we'll put lists of everything below yes. as well. We will. Bye. Bye. Oh.